A very warm welcome to you on uh, this most pleasantly clear evening. As you can see, we are getting through the uh, pre-match formalities and processes. The uh, players coming onto the field for the usual fanfare and handshakes and so on. Conditions absolutely perfect. Temperatures are kind enough. It is an absolute picture under the floodlights here. And the match that follows ought to follow suit. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. There's the whistle and here we go. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, this one is pretty easy. It's got to be Aguero. How do you contain someone with the speed of movement, technical strength and, and finishing ability that he possesses? All I'm saying is that I'm glad it's not me trying to stop. And he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Hoists it high. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Aimed low and direct. Dean as well there, alert. That's surely a foul free kick. And so we have the first set piece of the game. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. Sayek! Oh, what a save! He had a long way to go. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Out to the left it goes. Ball's loose, and he's after it. Forward it goes. And it's been taken straight back. Seferovic. Seferovic! And he's there to make a great save. Seferovic is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push. Um... Well, what's he giving here? He's given a penalty. Benfica really could have done without this. Well, the players are pleading, but it's not going to convince him to change his mind now. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. To open the scoring... Dispatched with certainty. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. Ajax draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Balls out on the left now. And that's another throw. again for a throw-in. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba did massive leap! Sticks it away! He came, he saw, he delivered. A great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you'll take back again. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Right through the middle. Click. Does Walter read it and intercepts? Keeper's got good distance on that. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Jordi Alba plays it forward. And it's Cruyff. Cruyff plays it out to the wing. He's gone for it! It's bounced out! Goal! Benfica! And the comeback is complete! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Zayak. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Aguero. Lukaku. Forward quickly. And that's been one straight back. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well played, he saw that coming. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Lack of accuracy. Salvio. He's making a foray down the right. Going through. It's one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Look, there are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the... Up to meet it! They've done it! And already they're looking to run away with it. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Benfica, two up, and into a position of real strength. Well, everything is going to plan, Peter. A day for a, a regular managerial heartbeat, at least for one. Seferovic showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And we've reached half-time. Well, every time they've gone through the gears, Peter, they've looked like scoring, so provided they could stay well clear of the handbrake, they ought to uh, be completely out of sight fairly soon. Benfica head in for half-time with a 3-1 lead. is back on the way. Now it's Salvia. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside.
He's left his man. And that's a goal kick. Aguero plays it out to the flank. Aimed long and direct. Timely intervention. Now a chance to break. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Oh, he's not going to get that. Seferovic cuts it out forward it goes he's going after it speculative strike big relief it just needed better contact Ajax are really feeling the strain now. Impatience has taken charge. Salvio. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. It's a decent header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Aguero, Salvio brings the ball forward. Now it's Lukaku. Offside? Yes, it is. He may have been caught offside, but, well, Peter, from experience, defenders, I can tell you, hate those runs in behind. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Well, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Aimed long and direct. Could move up a gear here. Crunching tackle.
Aguero, only with two goals under his belt. Camille Glick goes looking, and it's Mane. He's made good progress from a deep position. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. Lovely feet. Chip through. It's a brilliant interception. Mane goes looking. Now it's Aguero. He could be in here. Now the counter. Aguero. He it's Aguero! Yes! And the lead is extended still further. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defenceman, Mane, has got himself a free kick. So he's plotting something before playing it in. He's missed it. Lukaku clearly thought he could deceive the keeper, but not like that. Aimed long and direct. Lukaku. He's got away. And he's cut it out. He's left his man. Can he finish? He's kicked it out just. Towering header. Oh, that is an awful miss. Sayak dashing forward at pace. Now, surely. Ajax have it back and they can go again. It's being played forward. And now the breakaway. Now it's Aguero. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. And it's Mane. Going through, Mane. And he's there to cut it out. And that will be the final act. Benfica did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Benfica simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you. You can call me master of bubble gums from now on, okay? <laughs>